I haven't found not even one woman that liked the smaller diamond. Every woman likes the bigger look. They say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but a big rock can set you back a bundle unless it looks bigger than it really is. I created something special right now because it's a bigger look for less money because you're paying for the carat weight. Diamond designer Christopher Slowenski calls the creation the L'Amour Chris Cut, which he produces in New York City's iconic Diamond District. The difference, you can see it physically, one of my right, okay, it's a 10 carat, traditional or conventional cut, and on my left is L'Amour Chris Cut. So they're both the same? The same weight, carat weight. Slowenski says his 10 carat Lamore diamond looks double the size, something that would retail for $3 million. His has a price tag of close to a million. And you get the same effect with a smaller carat ring, too. This is actually a one carat diamond ring, but looks much bigger. So it's a big optical illusion. It's not really optical illusion, it's just the facts. The fact that the stone is thinner, so obviously showing a bigger surface. Slowenski didn't originally set out to make a diamond look twice as big. He discovered his original criss cut technique by accident, which more recently evolved into the L'Amour criss cut. I was a lousy cutter, honestly. I was talking on the phone at the same time, and I put the stone on a folding line uh, of uh, facets. I created like a little triangle. So looking at the stone, and I said, okay, it looks wonderful, but what am I gonna do right now? I messed it up. So through those mess-ups, you realized you were creating a more brilliant diamond. After a few months uh, studying it and working and experiment, you know, we came up with a beautiful stone. A beautiful stone, Slowinski says, that can last through the ages, even as trends change. Over the, I would say, 25, 30 years, I can see a big changes. First, transformation from yellow gold to white gold, then from white gold to platinum. It's very difficult actually to be in a high fashion business because you know that it comes and goes. The diamond industry has had it rough over the past couple of years. Too much supply and not enough demand undercut sales. Diamond prices themselves are less than they were five years ago, while the prices of other luxury items, cars, shoes, purses, have kept rising. Slowenski is betting a bigger stone for less money will woo customers. The L'Amour Diamonds is for young woman who wanted to see the biggest stone that she can get. And for him, it's good because he can save a lot of money. Of course, the savings are relative. L'Amour Diamonds start at $1,500 and go all the way up to a million.